How's it going everyone? Zabby here and we're back with another episode of the Fishing Planet Beginner's Guide, whatever you guys want to call it. Either way, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a lot of money at the Everglades. Now, I know this lake unlocks at level 18 and you can go there right at level 18, but I'm going to recommend that you guys wait till 20 to go there because you have a little bit better setup. So if you wait until level 20, you can go and grab this entire setup here, which is the Jig Winner 200, the Aspire MLR 2000, um... I think this is 3.6 kilogram test. Yeah, 3.6 kilogram test. So pretty decent line. And for this one, you're gonna either have the 14 gram 3.0. You can um, also use 21, it'll be a little bit heavier. Uh, you can also use a little bit less, but uh, I'd recommend the 14 gram 3.0. You could, you could do the heavier one that's 3.0 as well, the bass jig. Um, but this, you have to be level 20 to do this. So if you guys see, go into lures here, you go to bass jigs and you wanna, so, I mean, ideally you want a 4.0 hook size, but you're not gonna have a 4.0 uh, bass jig yet unless you bought DLC. You guys can see here at level 20, these 21 gram 3.0 bass jigs unlock, and that's what you want. Now you can use them, it's up to you. Um, you can use the level 20 setup, this is the level 20 setup, you can use that if you want, uh, but you can grab the 14 gram one, a little bit earlier, I think. Uh, where is it? The 14 gram. A 3 -oh. Actually, it might be even later. Ah, uh, that's 20 as well, yeah. So the 14 gram 3 -oh is a little bit later as well. Um, so yeah, if I was you guys, I'd wait till level 20 to go here. Grab this exact setup. Um, but I did make a setup for level 18 and below. This will not be as good. You will catch a little bit smaller bass. But if you don't want to wait till 20, you can go there with this setup. The Aurora 250, a little bit lighter of a rod. The Prima 3500, same exact line as before. Um, you're going to want a little bit heavier line because we're the, the bass get big here. And I also want to let you guys know, this is not amazing for XP. This is going to help you get a lot of money. You're still going to earn XP, but this is going to be great for money. So the same line as before. And then I went and bought a 2028 gram bass jig. And again, the only reason why I bought this and I'm using this is because this is what you have unlocked at level 18. So if you go 1-0 to 3-0, you can see uh, if we go over to 18, there's a 28 gram 2-0 there and they're right here. So these are what you have unlocked at 18. So again, that's why I say wait till 20 to get the 3-0. But if you don't want to wait, it's only two levels. But if you don't want to wait, just grab the 2-0 bass jig. That will work too. And any color of bass jig will work here. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend just waiting until you grab uh, your level th your level 20 and you can grab the nicer reel, nicer rod. Uh, this will get you worse XP, so you can even do a, mi a mishmash. So you want to you wanna farm a little bit more XP, you want a harder fight. Uh, you could even do this rod and you can, when you're level 20, grab the 21 gram uh, bass jig and just go from there. Now you can use melon, watermelon. Um, watermelon is what I used back in the day. Um, I think it was watermelon. Let me just double check here quick. We go 3-0 here. Um, yeah, so this is the one I used back in the day was this pumpkin melon one. Um, super, super good. Uh, but again, any of them work. You also can grab the regular watermelon one there. Um, let me see, did I bring that one? Uh, that's pumpkin melon as well. Here, let me just buy it just so I can bring it because that is what I used way back in the day when I was at the Everglades. So again, up to you guys what you want to use, but um, either or should work. You can do a mishmash of these setups if you want, but you can always go with something like this. Uh, this can only handle up to 18 grams, but... Uh, this jig winner will make fights easier. The Aurora will make fights harder, but you'll get more XP. Again, it's up to you what you guys want to do, but there's the two setups if you guys want. Make sure to grab an advanced license before you head to the Everglades. And actually, one other thing I wanted to look at here is the keep nets. So you're going to probably want um, the fish cabin medium, which is 30 kilograms of fish. That's 60 pounds-ish of fish. That's pretty good. That will do you guys good. If you want even more, you can go straight up to the the uh, fish jail here, uh, which you unlock a little bit. Uh, actually, no, don't even buy this fish jail. Never mind. I thought there was um, a level 18 fish jail, but there isn't. 
But yeah, make sure you grab the, the fish cabin here. 30 kilogram. You can catch up to 7 kilogram fish. That's 14 pound fish and 60 pounds of bass. And all you're going to do is head to the Everglades and I'll show you guys what to do next. All right. So once you're at the Everglades here, you're going to make note of when the peak time is. So it's from 11 to 1900 hours. You're going to want to go over to the infinity tunnels. This one right over here. This is a great spot for bass. Um, you guys can also float fish for bass here, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's a lot quicker to just uh, lure fish. Um, but if you want to float fish, just do a similar um, pound setup for a float. And that's, that's pretty easy to do, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, I also will show you guys the place to catch gar. Now, again, um, I didn't tell you guys the setup for gar, but if you want to catch gar, literally right off here, float setup, you can catch gar right there. But... The main point of this guide is to just show you guys um, the bass farming. Let's go ahead, use this bass jig here. Uh, you can see we can cast decently far. You just want to cast out into the middle of this uh, channel here. So this is the left channel. This is the middle. This is the right. Um, please stop game. Um, you can also catch uh, catfish and bass over here, but I had the most luck over here. Let's just sim ahead here. We'll just go to the middle of the peak. Um, let's just double check this rod too. This is the cheaper rod, uh, the smaller pound setup. You can cast a little bit further with this. This one will be a little bit harder fights, but basically all you guys are going to want to do cast out here and just do this all day. Uh, you'll fight a lot of bass. You'll get unique bass this way. And trust me, you'll know when you got a unique on, you can do a stop and go or Twitch here. Again, I prefer stop and go. You can do three or two speed probably. Whatever you guys prefer, really. As long as you get the stop and go or twitching motion up there on the top right in the, uh, the lure setup thing there. Uh, you guys will be good to go. But this is particularly where I like to catch bass. And you will get a lot of bass here, guys. Now, they might not all be big, but they're all going to be uh, worth a lot of money. Uh, a little bit more than walleye, for sure. And you guys will see here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep talking while I'm reeling this one in, just so you guys know. But yeah, just keep casting here. Keep going day to day. Fill up your keep net. Go to the next day. You guys will make a ton of money here. You'll get a decent amount of XP. This is just a butter uh, butterfly uh, peacock bass. You can tell right away just by the way it looks. I believe, actually. It could be a largemouth. Fighting pretty good, though. As you guys can see, this is the smaller rod. This is the Aurora rod. The fights will be a little bit harder with this rod. Um... Then the uh, jig winner. The jig winner will be faster. And honestly, I wouldn't worry too much about XP here. You still get a decent amount of XP. You're not going to have any negatives or anything. But that's a pretty small butterfly peacock bass. And uh, it's worth $262. Uh, we're going to go over to the jig winner now. And I will cast again. Um, a lot of the peacock bass like to sit right in there. So I just usually cast out in the middle as far as you can go. Um, that's another thing about the Aurora is it can cast a little bit further. And again, as you guys level up here, uh, if you want to do a better setup, you want to eventually get the 4-0 um, bass jig instead of the 3-0. Um, because what that's going to do is give you more uniques and more trophies. And you'll have to upgrade your line maybe a little bit to do that. Uh, bass can get pretty big here, guys. And trust me, when you catch uniques and trophies, you're going to be getting a good amount of cash, good amount of XP. You guys are going to love it here. This is one of my favorite spots to fish um, in the whole game. That's why I have an advanced license permanent one here. It's just a great place to fish. And if you guys enjoyed the walleye farming, you're going to enjoy the bass farming here. You're pretty much going to get a fish almost every single cast. Now, I don't want to say every cast because it's just not realistic. But you're going to get a lot of bass here, guys. Trust me. You're going to have a lot of fun killing the bass here. And as long as you keep doing it, you will fill up your keep net, especially if you got a smaller one. Um, and then just keep fishing here and upgrade your uh, your casting su setup as you go. Or not your casting setup, or your spinning setup as you go. And that's one other thing I want to talk to you guys about is never, ever, ever in this game buy a casting setup. In my opinion, casting in this game is stupid. It doesn't go far enough. It's too expensive. I would just always go with a spinning lure setup over casting. But hey, I'm not going to tell you guys how to exactly play the game. But in my opinion, opinion, a spinning setup is much better than a casting setup. Uh, at the current current day, it's March 16th, 2020. It could change in the future. You never know. 
But yeah, you just want to just go through here and fish. You guys are going to catch a lot of bass this way. Um, and yeah, that's all you're going to want to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Remember, this is a money farm, not exactly an XP farm. And as you can see, I just fucked up the strike there. So even though I'm level 50, I still fuck, fuck shit up in this game. Uh, you guys will do... You guys will get used to it, though. Just keep farming this exact same area. And you can catch bass over there. You can catch bass over there. Um, but honestly, if you're going to come here at lower level, best thing to do is just farm bass for some money. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is work your way towards Michigan. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick one. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you later. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the description to links to my social media platforms and Discord where you can come hang out. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a video. And also comment down below and I'll try to respond as best as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.